When it comes to hyperbaric therapy, you could treat yourself at home by either renting or purchasing a chamber and having that in the privacy of your own home. You can go to a clinic or a wellness center and get treated with trained technicians under the supervision of a healthcare provider or medical doctor. Which is the best for you? That's the topic of this particular video. There are more options today than ever before in terms of patient access to hyperbaric. So the question that comes up is, which is the best one to do? Which one should you do? There are a few layers to that question. The first is the standard treatment at home is going to be in a mild hyperbaric chamber. So first question about that is, is that enough pressure for you? Is that the right type of equipment for whatever your health concerns are or whatever your health goals are? Next is, is there even a clinic near you that you could find to even try hyperbaric before choosing to either bring it into your home or not? And what I would recommend to most people is if there is a wellness center or a clinic near you, do at least your first few sessions. Have some exposure to hyperbaric. Do you even like it? Is it a good fit? Do you know how to equalize your ears? What's the process going to be like for you? How easy is it for you to get there and come back? Understand that you're probably not going to do two or three sessions and you're going to be finished with hyperbaric. You're probably going to do 10, 20, 40, 60 sessions for whatever the goals are. So if it's easy for you to get to the clinic, it's convenient, they're friendly, they're trained and certified, and they're delivering a great service, and you just think you'd rather be under the care and supervision of trained professionals, that could be a great option for you. If you do hyperbaric a few times and you find, you know what, this isn't really something I want, or I'm not enjoying those sessions, or I'm really having a hard time equalizing my ears, to invest in thousands of dollars into a home chamber that you're now not going to use is not going to be a great plan. Overall, my generic recommendation for this would be go to a clinic if you have a convenient one, do at least five or 10 sessions, get a good feel for what the process is going to be like. And if you can see yourself saying, okay, this is great. I definitely want to continue this therapy. Now the question is, would I rather do it at home or in this office? Then you can make a real educated decision on what the next best step for you is. If you're requiring two atmospheres, two and a half atmospheres, then you're probably gonna stay going to the clinic. And that's great, that's fine. If whatever your health goals are allow you to utilize a soft chamber, then you can start looking into rental and purchase options and be able to treat yourself in the privacy of your own home. Certainly it's more convenient. It's a lot easier to get more hours to accumulate the amount of frequency and duration needed to really hit a lot of our health goals. So that home option could be great in those scenarios. Some people don't have a clinic within even an hour or two hours of their home. In those cases, going to the clinic is now just off the table. And so we have to start looking at what those home options might be. So for you, the question really is, I'm going to be treating at home. Should I rent a chamber or should I buy a chamber? Well, in cases where you can, if there's an option to rent the chamber, why not do that? Rent it for a month, two months, three months, depending on the office or the equipment that you're looking at, there might be minimums. Well, there's a two month minimum, a three month minimum, but at least this gives you plenty of time to understand the therapy, to operate the equipment, and to start seeing the effects of what this is going to have in your life. If this is a long-term plan, for whatever reason, your goals require months or even years of treatment, then the purchase option is definitely going to be the best scenario. So you rent the chamber, you rent it for two months or three months, you get 20, 40, 60 hours under your belt. You now commit to the fact, I like the therapy, I'm getting the benefits I want, I should really own this equipment. And you can often roll that rental into a purchase at that time. For most patients, the overwhelming majority that have some moderate to significant health concern that they're really trying to help with hyperbaric and they have access to a clinic, my opinion is this. You should do an initial protocol, a full protocol, maybe depending on the issue, that could be 20 hours, that might be 40 hours or a little bit more. Do a full protocol at higher pressure, at higher percentages of oxygen. Get the entire benefit that you could get from an initial protocol of hyperbaric under the supervision of trained technicians and medical doctors or healthcare practitioners, and really get the full scope of what hyperbaric can do for you. In most cases, after that initial protocol, you're going to take a break anyway. So you do the first protocol, you take your first break, you let all the benefits really settle in, and then you decide, you know what? That was amazing. I really can see myself doing more of this. It's not that convenient to go to the clinic, or it's really not cost effective for me to keep going to the clinic all the time for these sessions. Then you could move easily into, 
I know I like the therapy. It has been effective for me. I do like the benefits. I am going to need this for a long period of time. I should transition this care from a clinical environment to the home environment. Some people will make that transition and that'll be the end. In other cases, again, just depending on the severity of the issues that we're dealing with, you may do a full protocol in the office. You then may move and transition that with a soft chamber in your home. And then even with that, you might still do once a month or twice a month or blocks of five hours or blocks of 10 hours a few times a year in the clinic so that you're doing mild pressure on a regular basis in the convenience of your own home. And you're doing these boosts of higher pressure in the clinic a few times a year. So the real answer to this question is it's going to depend on the severity of your issues or the size of your health goals, your access to either a clinic or not, or your ability to be able to get a soft chamber into your home, the duration, how long you see yourself needing this as part of your uh, therapy for your health and wellness. And lastly, it's going to be a time commitment and a financial commitment. That has to weigh in on what the best steps for you are going to be. Whether that's traveling to and from the clinic, maybe it's convenient enough to do that. Uh, whether investing in the home system is going to be appropriate for you or investing in the hours at the clinic is more cost effective. So you have to weigh the time commitment and the financial commitment as well in part of the overall decision making. So I hope this helps you. I hope this helps guide you in terms of which way you should go, where you should start, and, and what the next steps would be once you understand how hyperbaric starts to affect you and your body. If you found this information helpful for you, please like it, please subscribe, share the video with anyone else that you might think uh, is looking for answers to this kind of a question. We're really trying hard to get these messages out to people looking for these answers. And when you do that, it helps us help them too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.